Your hard drive, it's full. I'm guessing at least because that's why you've landed on this video. We're gonna go ahead and clean up some space in your hard drive. Let's not waste any time with it. First thing we wanna do is go to disk cleanup. So open up the Windows start menu and type in disk cleanup. This right here is gonna get us started. So we wanna go ahead and select which drive we want. Most likely your C drive is your main drive. It should also have a little Windows sort of blue logo on it. That's the drive that Windows is stored on. Now, once you're in here, you actually just wanna go ahead and click clean up system files. You might get a uh, account user control sort of pop up. Go ahead and allow it, it's perfectly fine. And then click okay again. It's gonna calculate some things here for disk cleanup and then open up right like so. Now, what we wanna do is go down through here and kind of select all of this, right? As you can see right off the bat, we're gonna be saving 6.3 gigabytes. What this is gonna do is clean out everything on your computer that you don't need as far as temporary files, as far as everything else. I personally just check all of this and I've never had any issues, but you could quickly create a restore point. Just search create a restore point in start menu. Open this up and click create here if you do have any issues, you could always system restore back to that restore point. But nonetheless, we can go ahead and click OK here in disk cleanup. And do we want to permanently delete these files? We do delete files and boom, just like that. It's now deleting over eight gigabytes of stuff on my hard drive. It's clearing out our recycle bin, doing all of that. But don't worry, we're not done. We do need to wait for this to finish though. So with disk cleanup finished, it will just close, right? Just closes out of itself. And now we wanna to go to storage settings. So just go ahead and search for storage settings. And then this is where we can see everything on our C drive that is basically taking up space at all. So most people have apps and features as the number one thing that's taking up space. And you can sort this by size if you want to be able to really see what's going on. For example, lawn mowing simulator, which, uh, I'm kind of ashamed to admit I play, but is taking up a ton of space on my system. After that, it's the Adobe apps, which is kind of normal, and then oddly, Slack. But nevertheless, you can go through here and delete things that you no longer need on your system and gain extra space in your hard drive as you do so. But nevertheless, I don't need to delete anything right now, so we can go back and go on to the next thing. Now, temporary files are here as well. So if you click on those, it'll actually open this up where we can delete even more stuff. For example, disk cleanup doesn't touch your downloads folder, and I would honestly recommend deleting your downloads folder quite frequently. I personally keep mine empty, but nevertheless, we can go ahead and remove those files by clicking that button and boom, two gigabytes saved right like that. But now if we go back here as well, we can go through other stuff. So what else is taking up a ton of space in our hard drive? As you can see, I have a virtual machine software on my computer that's taking up a ton of space. CurseForge, Minecraft mods, right? All of this. You can open these up and see what's in them and delete them. Now this takes a while, obviously, but it is the most efficient way to get programs and things like that cleared out. We've now cleared all of our temporary files with disk cleanup and by deleting temporary files here. That's done. Now, one thing worth mentioning is how do you just kind of keep up on this regularly without having to come watch this video all the time? Well, that's up here at the top called Storage Sense. So you can go ahead and turn this on, and then if you click Configure, you can see exactly what it does. But basically, this deletes temporary files on your computer, but also cleans up different stuff as you want. You can either do it when your disk space is running low, you can do it every month, you can do it every week, you can do it every day. This is Microsoft's solution to be able to actually get things cleaned up on your PC on a regular basis without you having Having to think about it. So for example, we can turn that to every month. You can also delete your temporary files automatically, specifically looking at your recycle bin and downloads folders. You can do this every 30, 60, 14, or one day. It just depends on whatever you want. For example, I like my recycling bin to be cleaned out every 30 days. I usually do it more than that, but it's nice to know. You can also go ahead and click clean now, and we just kind of cleaned up everything, so there probably won't be a lot there, but that's a, another quick way for you to clean up your system and delete a few files. As you can see, five megabytes. But nevertheless, you can turn that on if you wanna keep things up regularly. And that's kind of the basics of getting your hard drive cleared out. Going through here, seeing more categories and getting all of this cleared out is one of the best ways to do it and doing it manually. It takes more time, but it's gonna guarantee you get the best results. And with this, you don't have to download any sketchy software or anything like that. You can also manage other drives by clicking view storage usage on other drives. I could go into my SSD here, for example, and as you can see, this is mostly videos because that's where I keep all these videos I record for this channel. But nevertheless, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy your freed up disk space on your Windows computer. And if you want to see other Windows tips and tricks to specifically speed up Windows for gaming, check out the video on your screen right now. We go through exactly how to speed up your Windows system and make it run efficiently if you want to play games. We'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.